What is going on everybody? Patrick Quick here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an unboxing for you. And this is a unboxing that's going to lead into something that I've newly gotten into that I'm really excited about. Um, and I'll go more into detail about that. Um, you know, as the name of the channel changed to Quick Response Fishing, with that was going to be coming more and bigger things. And uh, this little six cents bag right here from the sale is going to be the kind of lean into this next box. But first, we're gonna go ahead and look at what we got in here. And the first things we've got are some Crush Flat 75 X's. I picked up four of them. I recently caught a fish on one for the first time and when I used it, I loved it. And then a rock decided it wanted to keep it. So I had to re-up, seeing that these were on sale. And this is the Shad Ball. And I dig this one. I love that gold in there. And then that somewhat like purplish, goldish kind of blend that goes on there. Then it has the iridescent purple on the body. Not too much noise, but just enough. <clears throat> it's got some red in there as well. Really, really like the action of these. Hooked into a, a, a decent sized fish for the area. Starting to beat up the bottom here. Fish. Nice bass. Came up and grabbed it. There we go. And he got himself off, and I almost hooked myself because this cord that I'm charging on this portable charger is getting tangled. But we're free now, and we're going to grab this guy. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for biting. Look at that guy. Nice and healthy. Chunk, he's got some sharp teeth on him right now. Good looking fish. Thank you for biting, buddy. Let's go ahead and get you back. Dang, your teeth are sharp. All right. Next, we have... A Hyper Jerk 70, and this is in the Mertholiot Flash. Uh, this is one of those really bright colors. I've actually never tried this color, but something just said, hey, you should pick me up and try me out in some clear water or some murky water for some smallmouth or something. Nice little rattle to it. Nice feathered trailer. These hooks are always sharp. I like that little orange belly it's got on there. And then that color is just sick. Next. <clears throat> Couldn't resist. I love the Crush Mini 25X. Um, the downsizing is perfect for around me. Sometimes the pressure's on so much or they just enjoy eating smaller things. I don't know. It's probably a combination of both. But I had to grab two of the Custom Bluegill. When I saw this on there, I just... I couldn't resist it. The color pattern is so sick. That is that custom bluegill right there. It's got that green pumpkin top, that orangish belly with the yellow, the stripes, blue face, and then of course we've got the little accent red on the chin and that white belly. This overall is just an amazing little bait. I couldn't pass it up. Doesn't really have too much noise, which is fine. They don't really need noise. It's a small profile bait fish something that they can go after and eat and that's all i care about is them eating then we've got some divine shaky worms and bluegill fire and i wanted to grab some of this color because that is the color that that pike hit on that divine swim jig the bluegill fire putting this on a shaky head um, might end up getting me some pretty good bites there as well and that really clear water. Just something that mimics the bait fish really, really well. I couldn't resist and pass it up. Had to get a pack. <clears throat> then, the six hooked me up with a decal and a Waterland code to save 15% on any purchase. 
if you would like to save some money on Waterland sunglasses. There you go, there's a code. And this is where it gets interesting and leads into the next package. So I've recently been bitten by the lure making bug. And I have made two amazing baits that are going out to very special people. One of them you knew um, if you watched the video where I did the mail call for the New Hope lures and Ugly Dog lures. Charlie sent me a blank bait. I've completed that and I'm about to send it off to him. And doing that just sparked my creativity back, brought me back to when I did arts in high school, throughout high school, computer arts, drawing, painting, you name it, I did it. And it just brought back that creative side of me, so much so to where they had some 3D eyes on sale. And knowing that the six has some of the deepest, richest, boldest looking eyes of a lot of the crankbaits that I've seen, I had to order some of these. And these are the Live Eye. And I have two sizes. I have a uh, five millimeter and a six millimeter. Two five millimeters and a six millimeter. And I don't know if you can see them very well, but they are very lifelike and I love them. They look really, really good. So, that leads into the next box. I placed an order with Sugar Tit Customs. So, let's go ahead and check out what's in here. Nice koozie with their logo on it. So what I ordered was uh, some stuff of my own choosing, but they also have a starter pack. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the starter pack real quick first because this is $28.99 on their website and I'm curious of what all came in there. Um, I did get myself a big old sheet of eyeballs as well and then we will go ahead and take a look at this stuff after this one. So here is the starter kit and inside the starter kit we have <clears throat> Some stickers which are pretty sweet so this right here uh, looks to be like a stencil which is really cool I dig that probably for I'm guessing gills where you can go around the sides nice sugar tit custom lure sticker and then you get a plethora of eyes and sizes and these are the reptilian looking ones so these are really cool and then we've got some hooks with split rings already attached ultra sharp treble hooks three packs of those and we've got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen lures that came inside there as well. So <clears throat> we have three spooks, oh four spooks, top top water style. Really nice design. I love the rattle in there. I like how it has the rattle back here. It's also going to help with casting it out. It's going to give you a little bit more distance. Really nice looking blank here. And then we've got some jerk baits here. Kind of remind me of the Vision 110 from Mega Bass. I love the unique design of this. And we have three of those. We have three of the coffin bills nice rattles in there we have three of the I'm guessing these would be a 2.5 square bill and then we have three s crank square bills so overall like a good variety out of that starter kit with hooks included and eyes and a stencil. 
really really awesome uh, for twenty eight ninety nine and some and some tax. Uh, I would say if you're looking to get into painting lures, that is a really good kit to go ahead and get started with to try a bunch of different styles out. So then we're going to go ahead and look at a couple other things here. <clears throat> this was a free gift, so that's why it has the sticker. It says free gift, so they included a deep diving blink here, and this is really, really awesome. This would be really good for right now while the fish are going deeper, <clears throat> especially at that clear lake where I go for the pike. Uh, I heard there's some really big walleye recently uh, being pulled up out of there in that clear water and they're down deep. So this is something that's gonna be really, really awesome. I cannot wait to get this painted up. Love that design. I love the pattern that it has here too. These are actually um, raised. You can feel all these designs and these crevices from this fin. That is really, really awesome. So Sugar Kit, Sugar Tick Custom Lures, thank you so much for the free gift and the koozie. Really, really appreciate it. That's really, really awesome hospitality on your end. Um, wasn't expecting it, so that's really awesome. <clears throat> then in here, I couldn't pass up getting some more of the S-Cranks because they are just an awesome, awesome lure. And I grabbed three of these. These are ploppers in the shape of pike. It's a pike plopper. I picked up three of these. I couldn't resist it. They just look too cool not to get. So I have three of those in there. Seem like they're really well put together. They've got the nice brass rivets in here holding everything together. Real solid. Real solid. And then... Oh, cool. So the pike plopper actually comes with its own specific eyes. I was wondering about that because I've seen them have that slanted shape to them, and they do come with their eyes. So that is really awesome. And then the last three in here are some more of those S-Cranks. And then we have one more bag here of stuff that I chose myself. And we have... I believe these are the 1.5, and these are the super detailed little square bills. Really, really like this. Super clear. Um, there's this paint called uh, Smoke. It's actually like a clear black, a clear gray, and I think that would look really cool on one of these to keep that like real bait fish kind of clear body look to it. Something I'm going to be playing with. But these do look absolutely fantastic, very high quality. I believe that's what it said. These were the high quality ones. And they look fantastic. And they were each individually bagged. So you know that the, these are the special ones right here. Super awesome. And then, couldn't pass up the big body whipless. Nice weight distributions in here in the belly, in the head, and it has the rattles. This thing is going to give off some awesome action, I can already tell. And it's pretty heavy. I don't remember the exact weight of this, but it's going to get down there. And it's going to kick and do its thing like a lipless does. And I'm hoping a pike's going to smack on one of these two. So, that is the unboxing. That's everything. The six cent stuff. The 3D eyes that I picked up from there and the, and the few baits that I wanted to get up on with the sales. My starter kit plus a few extra that I ordered to get going on making some lures. And then before I go, <clears throat> this is one that I've already painted. This one um, is called Nebula because it kind of looks like a galaxy. And it has a black body and I have a color shift just on the top there where it goes from blue to purple. I'm not sure if that's gonna actually pick up. Sometimes this light makes it work, sometimes this light doesn't, but it goes from blue to purple, and then it's got green and pink glitter in there. This one I actually did for my wife, and uh, I gotta figure out a different type of epoxy. Right now I'm just using the Gorilla Glue, but uh, it seems to be holding up. It seems to work all right, and I've got some pretty sharp black nickel hooks on here as well. Nice little rattle. This is actually a little lipless crankbait um, that got beat up and I just decided to repaint it. Put some new eyes on there because those were kind of beat up too off of some other things that I had. And uh, yeah, that was one of my first runs besides 
the two really awesome ones that I'm sending out as gifts. So Charlie and Ron be looking forward to getting those. And as always, thanks for sticking with me, and I will catch you all later.